Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video here looking at how we can maximize the battery on your HTC One M9 uh, which uh, is a very nice capacity, 2800 I think but uh, if you have everything kind of unoptimized then you may be struggling to get through the day uh, which uh, is a shame, so we can check out here how to maximize the battery on the M9 and uh, we can start off looking at the display brightness so we can see here I have it on max for the purpose of this video or near max uh, but I would recommend that you definitely use the automatic brightness here and then slide that down to the mid level which uh, should automatically calibrate it so that it's viewable but uh, it's uh, also very efficient there so I would then disable that for the purpose of this video but definitely leave that on also with the uh, screen timeout here you can see we're on 10 minutes uh, you might want to change that down to about 2 minutes or something because the more time it's on the more kind of uh, life it's going to be draining I'd also uh, disable the glove mode as well which makes the screen a little bit more sensitive thus uh, making it use battery life a bit quicker and uh, if we look into the settings here we can go to the Wi-Fi settings and we can go to the advanced so we got some settings here that we definitely need to look into and the first thing we need to look into is the keep Wi-Fi on during sleep I'd click never on that uh, and we do need to do a second thing after this once we've selected that we go back here and then we need to go into the mobile data options uh, and we need to then should be an option in fact it's here uh, I've not got a sim in this one but when you do have a sim in it this will be selectable so I'd turn that off basically unless you need some data coming through you need to turn this one off because if you turn off the Wi-Fi always on at sleep then it will s switch to the data and that defeats the purpose of the object so make sure that is off also untick uh, whoop, untick uh, this one scanning always available don't need all that going on uh, also uh, Wi-Fi optimization some people would say turn that off other people would say turn it on personally I've not really noticed much of a difference uh, having it on or off so I'm just going to leave it as it is uh, so uh, also we can then come out of here uh, and check that we are not leaving anything on that we don't need to so you can see we have the Bluetooth on here uh, so uh, you can turn that on and that will continue to scan draining your battery life so make sure that's off if you're not using it uh, also the uh, NFC should be here in the more settings you can see this turn that off sounds common sense all this but you'd be surprised how many people have it still on so we have some boom sound settings here but you can't really change too much so not worth looking into that too much and uh, media gesture so motion launch gestures I'd say you know if you're looking for the most battery life I would definitely think about turning these off double tap to wake and sleep it's very useful but then again you could just click this button here so I'd turn that off swipe up to unlock as well so we're going for maximum battery life here uh, and uh, also if we go out of this we can check out the uh, other major battery drainer which is the uh, location setting so you can see here I've already got on battery saver which is in the middle which is what I'd recommend you use unless you need to use like maps or something uh, so uh, if you do need to use the maps just use device only never use high accuracy in my opinion it's an absolute horrible battery drainer uh, it kills batteries so fast it's unbelievable and uh, if we go to personalize here so we can see uh, there should be a way to disable this blink feed now blink feed is very useful for catching up with information but if you're going on a hiking trip or something 
you need to get the maximum battery life and as every time it updates as you can see it's pulling through the Wi-Fi data and if you're on the 3G or 4G that's going to drain a lot of battery life so there should be a way to uh, remove this and uh, you see they change it so many t ways like every time they seem to change it so let's have a look here there we go so you just need to hold down the back well a blank page basically scroll to it and then click remove uh, we're going to leave it on here just for the purpose of my video video making but you can see how to do that there also a thing I forgot to mention on the mobile data here uh, you should be able to select a different mode here so if you want to go back to the dark ages you could uh, select 2G only but I would recommend just 3G only because that's still decent speeds uh, but uh, not uh, you know 4G LTE kind of battery draining speeds other than that we have the power saving modes here so we have the power saver that you could check out uh, which uh, you know kind of minimizes some things like vibration display also underclocks the processor a little bit you could uh, put that on all the time that would should give you some more extreme power saving mode is uh, kind of like uh, Samsung's ultra power saving mode so don't use that unless you really need it unless you want a dumb phone and uh, also this is quite a good one sleep mode data off uh, turn data off during long periods of inactivity I definitely look into that and if we go into the uh, accounts as well and the sync options uh, if you have a whole load of email accounts you should be able to go into the settings of them and uh, there should be a way to change the sync cycle if you go into the like advanced settings I definitely recommend you put it on like a one hour sync schedule instead of push because that will drain a lot of battery life so uh, the other thing we can do is go into the about here software information and uh, if we go to more then build number and if we go back here and see the developer options we can see we have uh, quite a few options in here so where is it uh, it doesn't seem uh, it doesn't seem to have it I think on uh, the 1M9 but it does have it on quite a lot of other devices like you should be able to change the uh, kind of GPU there we go so it's actually in a different place here if you go into the advanced and then go here animation I'd uh, definitely recommend you change all these to off because it will be using a GPU so I'm going to keep it on though for my video making uh, so yeah those things I think uh, will definitely help your battery life here on the M9 personally I'm not having any issues with it but uh, if you are then it's definitely something to check out uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little video and if you did uh, please leave a like and I will see you next time cheers <laughs>